We are seeing that patchy fog all over the place, and Coit Tower was blocked by it, but now it seems to have moved out a little bit. I also want to show you this view of our VACA camera. Woo, good morning. Yes, we're waiting for that official sunrise, which happens in about 40 minutes or so. But here's what you can expect today. Dense fog throughout the morning hours again today until about 10, 11 o'clock. So that fog is expected to stick around for a while, especially if you're heading out further east. Concord right now, visibility down to a third. And Half Moon Bay, it just dropped down to zero. Mile visibility. So, very difficult for drivers to see ahead of them as that fog lays low. It's like driving through a cloud, literally, that's what you're doing. So, low clouds out there. We are also seeing dense fog throughout Sacramento Valley, San Joaquin Valley, further south, all the way down to Kern County as well. Zero and a quarter mile visibility there. So, of course, no use of high beams. Keep a distance from the, uh, the car in front of you. We do have high surface moisture, and that's what's causing that reduction in visibility. Calm winds also. Wind speeds as much as five miles per hour. That's all we're getting this morning, but eventually we'll see it burn off. We're going to get more high clouds to roll in. So low clouds right now, high clouds later. Some areas may see the sunshine across the South Bay. Look how warm it's going to be for San Jose today. 67. Fremont, you'll reach 65. Redwood City, 67 degrees. So across the South Bay, about 9 degrees above average. San Francisco, San Rafael, it's pretty average conditions for where we should be this time of year. And we are waiting for this guy, this low pressure system to come on through. Yes, right now up in the Gulf of Alaska, we'll reach California by late tonight, impacting the coast across the North Bay first, and then it's going to stick around through Friday at least, bringing us some rain. So here's your future cast. Throughout the day today, mostly uh, cloudy conditions, possibly some sunshine, but late tonight, 2 o'clock in the morning, possibly th tomorrow morning, that's when the first round of rain will come in. Your morning commute will be wet. By your afternoon commute, you'll also see some widespread rain. So the most amount of rain we'll get from the system will occur on Thursday. Friday, we'll also see scattered showers throughout our area through Friday. Friday night. Let's not forget about the high elevation snowfall. It is time to get ready for that. Pack your chains, uh, blankets, jackets, water, food, all that good stuff if you're heading up to those ski resorts. One to two feet of snow expected. We could see snow flurries as low as 3,500 feet. So here's your Tahoe report. Over at Heavenly, they have a pretty good snow base, 18 to 34 inches. But yes, they cannot wait for more. So one to two feet will definitely be welcomed at Squaw Valley as well. Wind and snow associated. Associated with this storm. So, Thursday and Friday, those wind gusts could be as high as 100 miles per hour for the ridge tops. There's Alpine Meadows Tahoe report. And yes, also not just snow, but high surf. This is California forecast for you. We go from the mountains to the beaches. A swell up to 15 to 20 feet, breakers up to 40. So, that could be very dangerous unless you are a professional. Please don't get out in the water. Uh, but that storm system will last through Friday. We get a break on Saturday, making for a pretty good looking uh, weekend. It will be chilly. And then and on Sunday, we have another round of rain coming in. Let's see what Ann is up to now.